What is going on guys, Matt here and welcome to the second episode of our Chelsea Player Career Mode series. Uh, if you missed the first episode make sure you go and check it out, also if you're new to the channel make sure you go and subscribe. So let's have a quick look at the league table, we are currently 7th with 15 points, Liverpool and Man City at the top with 27 so a bit of a distance, we've got yeah, a bit to climb so uh, 4 wins, 3 draws and 2 losses. So we just have a quick look at our stats, we've played 3 appearances, we've won 1 game, lost 2 scored three goals so that's not too bad so we get straight into the game today we got a game against Burnley in the Premier League so our first league appearance so hopefully we get off to a good start uh, desperately need it need to get back up to that table near the top spot I know it's a bit of a climb but yeah it needs to be done so first bit of action of the game they have a corner Kepa throws it out to us on the wing we play inside to Kovacic Pace inside to Pulisic, who eventually passes it out to us. We've got a bit of space, we try through a ball. Peacock fouls there, just clips it away. Does well, to be fair. Uh, we pick it up inside again. Kovacic, bit of a 1 2, bit of a fake shot from us. Jorginho gets the ball, eventually works it out to William. Gives it to us, we give it to Jorginho on a through ball, and Jorginho puts it into the back of the net. Putting Chelsea 1 0 up in the 36th minute. Not long after that, 42 minutes on the clock, William gets it, tries a bit of a sloppy pass. And then Rudiger absolutely clatters Rodriguez, absolutely clatters him. Forces him to go off, look at that, absolutely destroys him. It's like a steel train, what the hell. And then uh, Vidra comes on, his replacement. 49 on the clock, into second half, we play it inside to Kovacic, he plays it back to us. Have a touch, finesse shot, just wide. Great chance. We've got a chance on the side. We've got into William, into lines. He cuts inside. Plays a ball. Jorginho tries to. Oh, little cross. Pulisic with a header. Peacock foul. Makes a decent save. And what a header it was. Into stoppage time now. William brings it in the box. Mount. We fall on the floor. But Kante, left footed effort, puts it into the back of the net. And what an effort it was. Puts the Chelsea 2 0 up. Surely that is three points in the bag into stoppage time. What an effort he was. Left footed effort. I'm sure it's his uh, weaker foot as well. So not long after that, they take the restart. And the ref blows his whistle, confirming Chelsea 2-0 winners. Our first start in the Premier League and our first win. Unfortunately, we couldn't get on the score sheet. But we made a couple of chances. But all that matters now is the three points. We need to get ourselves back up there. So after that, we decided to do some training started off with a shooting and I tell you what Kepa was on fire if it weren't Kepa keeping us out it was the defenders we was against so he was a beast so we'd done around the clock uh, some defending and then some lob pass and again Kepa absolutely on fire finishing off with some free kick training so a couple of A's we got one C in the uh, attacking shooting situation just because how Kepa was keeping us out I just had to accept the C so then our next opponent Crystal Palace in the league Hopefully we can build on that 2-0 win against Burnley. So the players to watch, Pulisic, he scored three goals in his last three matches, so he's a bit on fire. Uh, there's our starting lineup. So good team. They've got five in the middle. Check Tusson leading the line for them, currently on loan from Everton. So our first chance, two minutes in, we cut inside, bit of a fake shot, weren't the best of efforts. Twelve minutes on the clock, lines. Tries to get the ball in and he does. We meet it with a head and we hit the post couple of minutes after that we work it with Kovacic they get a ball out to Pulisic Kovacic shot saved by the keeper Jorginho feeds us and we get a penalty Kelly fouls us in the box and I'd like to see your opinions of it when you see it but he also gets a red card so Palace down to 10 men you'll be able to see it in a sec here it is I think he gets us first but then he does get the ball so let us know what your opinions of it are. Jorginho, the man to take the penalty. 25 minutes on the clock. Can he pull it away? Of course he can. Of course he can. Calm nerves. Slots it into the back of the net. Puts Chelsea 1-0 up. Conte then feeds Flash. We feed it back to Conte. Who has a shot. Saved by the keeper. 40 minutes on the clock. Now into the second half. Flash gives it. Pedro 1-2. Shot. Keeper again. What a save. What a save. And then out of nowhere, Palace 
just come in the 55th minute it's a bit of a mix up there but what a ball that is what a ball and what a finish levels was tied 1-1 one, one. Christiansen of all players comes out of nowhere puts the ball in the box we just missed it with a header Pulisic plays it back inside lofts the chic back heel to Kante Kante fires it into the back of the net 2-1 we're back in the lead and what an effort it was three goals in the Prem for Kante 75 minutes on the clock 15 remaining we get it inside through ball loftus cheek squares it and we pull it in the back of the net 3-1 we get a couple of attributes up as well key passes and of all people it's Marcus Alonso out of nowhere the left back don't know what he's doing there but loftus cheek squares it Alonso has to be there to put it in the back of the net and he is and if we get a bit lucky it hits off the keeper it wasn't the best of efforts and then Chet Tosin fires a goal back for Palace into stoppage time turns into 3-2 bit of a mix up here we give a ball away I think it's Sionchu and yeah just a bit of a shambles but Palace pull a goal back so deep into stoppage time we get a chance with Flash bit of a fake shot doesn't really beat his man the shot is blocked but then the full time whistle goes confirming Chelsea 3-2 winners two wins back to back in the league so surely that would have done our league position the world of good. Uh, good to get them two wins back to back. Uh, so our player performance match rating 8.5. Unfortunately no goals, no assists. So uh, with becoming more of a team player. I do like to link up more than trying to be greedy. So, But we'll see as long as Chelsea are getting the wins that's the main thing. Also our attributes are going up on the top right so that's good. Uh, we are selected for the game against Man City. It is going to be our last game of the episode. Uh, so tough opponents they are currently joint top with Liverpool uh, well they were when we started the episode anyway so I don't know how they've got on since some two league uh, two league games so but tough opponents yeah it's gonna be a tough game uh, we need to get another win we need to get these wins on the board uh, we've us being seventh it shouldn't be where Chelsea are with the team we've got with the players we've got it's yeah it's disappointing so as you can see that was the Man City lineup. this is ours so Kepa in goal he's been absolutely on fire in training just keeps us out all the time in them shooting situations uh, dangerous front three well say dangerous front two because we ain't really doing much but Pulisic and Willian up top a defensive midfield that's the only thing about Chelsea how they play it's very defensive uh, it can be quite frustrating we don't really get the players up but first highlight of the game, Jorginho plays a through ball up to flash. Edison pulls off a decent save. Uh, it was fairly straightforward at him. But and then we get another chance. Flash cuts inside. We give a through ball to Kante. It's not the best of efforts. As you'll see now, it kind of takes a little nick off his shin pad. And with how limited the chances come in this game, it's them kind of chances we need to take. And then we get a chance here, we try to pass the ball, but it just gets intercepted. But luckily it falls to Jorginho, he puts it into the back of the net. 57 minutes on the clock. We needed that, chances are limited, and we need finishes like that. And luckily Jorginho puts it into the back of the net. Thankfully puts Chelsea 1-0 up in a very tough game. Very tough team against Man City. We needed it, we really did. 60 minutes on the clock, Kovacic plays a through ball, Jorginho, we get it from Jorginho, flash with an effort, just smashes it wide, drags it too much, we needed that goal, we needed a bit of lifeline, Man City get a chance, Aguero plays it to Silva, he plays it inside, De Bruyne saved by Kepa, their first real chance of the game, then they get another chance with Illich, and what a save Kepa, what a save, into stoppage time and there's a full time whistle desperately needed that win three wins out of three in the league in this episode and my god I'd love to see what the league table looks like because I think we've done it a world of good desperately needed the wins and it's good to see Flash and John Stones having a bit of man love he's finally made a friend so our match rating not the best 7.2 uh, we got one key pass no goals again, no assists, so it's becoming a similar thing. Uh, so our game against Valencia, we wasn't selected, unfortunately. Uh, so as you can see, Valencia are top with 10 points in the Champions League group stage. 
uh, we are second uh, so it could easily change if we lose this it's a game we needed to win so we had to sim it unfortunately it wasn't picked for this one it would have been a great game to play in uh, Giroud taking our place which to be fair is a class player very underrated and we get a 2-1 win goals coming from Soyuncu and Jorginho so let's have a look how that league table looks in the Champions League after beating Valencia 2-1 uh, we have gone up to 9 points uh, second so with one game remaining we can't lose second spot we can still get first so it would be very interesting to see hopefully we can get top so with that guys that is the end of the episode I hope you enjoyed it please smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please keep an eye out for the next episode take care guys see you soon